Hello everyone, I am Schlag. Welcome to my home. Oh look, it's my YouTube Creator Award for a million subscribers. I was wondering where I left that old thing. I'm a contributor to Leeches.org and today we're going to talk about a few things, but mainly a new website feature I'm very excited about, Voice Moves. I'm told somebody named Eric Rosen has already made a video about it, so we're going to watch that one first because apparently he's kind of a big deal. Computer, I'm just going to play the engine. Okay. I see this little thing on top. Do I have to click it? Instructions. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so new. E4. Wow. Wait, what? I played C4? No. <laughs> um, Take the pawn. Take it. Take it. Yes. Take the pawn. D uh, C C takes d5. Oh, you're so slow. C takes d5. Yes. Knight c3. Turn the flag. Yes. E4. Yes. E4. No, not b4. Take the bishop. Knight takes h3. Knight takes h3. Yes. b5. Ah, okay, let's just try and beat it. Wait, what? It hung its king? Why can't I move? I have a pawn B4. Where'd that pawn come from? Yes! Let's go. Oh, that was so buggy. Man, that was rough. All right, let's check this guy out. Eric Rosen. And that's him. Yeah. Oh, look at these trophies. Quite a few. Quite a few. Oh my god. Look, 25, 2700. These ratings. That can't be right. That, that cannot be right. You know what? I think I know what's going on. I saw a video about this very recently. <laughs> I'm sorry, this guy gave us the assist, Lee Chess, we have to go on it. I mean, it's just the truth. Lee Chess ratings are, are inflated, and in this case, it actually is making people feel bad. I know you're probably asking yourself, why should we listen to you about voice recognition when you're only 679 and Eric is 2700? Well, that's only a 2,000 point difference, and 400 of that is because of the different rating systems. 700 is probably just genetics. And we could chalk 700 more up to concussions and a lifetime of heavy drinking. Now, if I had been born as smart as Eric and had lived a clean and healthy life up until now, adjust for those factors, that's 2,500 rating for Schlag puts us within match range. So we're not as far apart as you think. Now, we've established my credentials. Let's deal with the elephant in the room, shall we? Does Leech's voice recognition suck? The answer is no, but voice is an input device, just like the keyboard on your phone or a PlayStation controller. You probably didn't master those the first moment you picked one up. Playing chess with your voice is no different. So let me start up a game with Stockfish here and we can go over it. Crazy. Okay, now, if you're going to be talking out loud to people in addition to making chess moves, you need to use push to talk. If you're just babbling to your friends while Leeches is listening for voice commands, that's called Rosenfail. Don't do it. So we're going to open up the gear menu here and toggle this. Now, when I hold shift, I can issue voice commands. And when I let go, I can safely talk to you guys without making some bizarre random move. You can see there, that's what it thought I said. It only knows chess word, guys. So it's gonna hear a bunch of nonsense and try to make a move if you're talking. So anyways, let's go ahead and turn clarity all the way up. That means it can hear me clearly. I have a good mic. I'm a decent English speaker. Uh, timer, I'm going to turn off. Now with these settings, it's going to always play the move it hears immediately unless the command is ambiguous. This is the most intuitive, but it's kind of dangerous to play this way unless you're a careful speaker with a good mic. So let's get started. Um, let's see what he does. Okay, I'm not very familiar with this opening. I'll go D5. Uh, let's see what happens. All right. So I want to, I guess, knight. Now I just said the name of a piece and you can see it's giving me all the knight moves I have. So I can pick one by saying the color. 
pink. All right. All right. Let's say uh, you can also give valid sand. So knight c6. All right. Now, when you have captures, you can say takes, and it'll show you the uh, available captures you have. Um, blue. Let's do it with the pawn. And, okay, what are you going to do? Oh, that's uh, very interesting. <laughs> All right, so I can also say pawn takes pawn. That's unambiguous, so it's going to go ahead and make it immediately. Uh, and, oh. With the queen. Wow. Uh, take the queen. There's only one way to take the queen, so it's going to take it with my queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, things are going good up until this point, but it's just a matter of time before I misspeak or Leech just mishears a file or something. So I'm going to turn the timer on. And what this does, it just gives me a short window that I can cancel a move before it's made. Um, and we'll see what that looks like here. Let's say I want to do something boneheaded like uh, King D7. No! You see, it pretty much immediately, when I said no, can canceled that move. And it hears much faster when it's on the timer because it has a very reduced vocabulary. You can only say yes, no, or a color at that point. If you say anything else, it's probably gonna interpret it as a color and make some random move, assuming you had multiple arrows on the board. You don't want that. So anyways, let's go ahead and do uh, E5. Yes. Uh, Okay, uh, d6, yes. And e6, yes. All right, now I'm gonna turn the, uh, I'm gonna turn the clarity down and th this doesn't change anything in terms of the preferred move. Uh, but it will give me more options on the screen in terms of arrows and moves I can make. This can help if you have a bad mic or, you know, a lot of background noise because it gives you a lot of matches for what you could have said. You know, sometimes, it, like I said, it won't hear you perfectly, so it'll show multiple moves that kind of sound like what you, uh, what you said but might not be exactly. So uh, let's go ahead and chase... No. I'll show you castle stuff. Castle. Now it shows you both castling moves here. You can also pick one by saying long castle or short castle, or queen side castle or king side castle. So let's try that. Long castle. Nope. Short castle. Nope. Now let's go ahead and do something dumb because I think stockfish is, is in a bad position here and we want it to give it a chance. So let's say King, show the king moves. Blue. Uh, okay. Now what you gonna do? Okay, okay. Uh, A6, let's chase this bishop off. Yes. And that's bad. B5. Yes. I think this one is close to over, and that was that must that was a blunder. There's like a slight chance anytime Stockfish makes a move, it's just gonna say, "I'm gonna make the worst move possible." Uh, if you're playing on a lower level like I am, um, yeah, pawn takes knight, and. Let's see, okay, uh, knight takes knight, yes, and pawn takes bishop, anyway, uh, so hopefully you can get the idea from here, I don't want to make a too long video, but I do want to mention, um, 
if you're a teacher or a coach and you have students that are still learning coordinates, uh, voice is also available in the coordinate trainer. So let me show you real quick. Uh, let's just get out of this. Okay, here we are in coordinate trainer. You wanna make sure you are on name square. And you can see down here you have your uh, handy voice controls. Uh, you want to disable push to talk if that's on. You don't wanna be holding down the shift key the entire time. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Start. Ooh, H5, E5, H7, G2, B3, D7, B5, G3, F6, D1, E5, H3, E5, B3, F6, D8. So you, I'm not very good at this, but uh, you get the idea. Um, it can be very helpful for, uh, I guess, people that want to think in that direction where you're actually naming the square that shows up rather than clicking the square that is named. Uh, it's just approach it from a different direction. I don't know what's going on there. That's cool, I'm leaving this in. So just to wrap things up, I like to say this feature would not be possible without Ben Rollin and Sam Eze, fellow Leeches contributors who really lay the groundwork. Like Leeches itself, voice recognition is a work in progress. So if you try it out, you run into issues, go ahead and put a note on our feedback forum or file an issue in our GitHub and we'll take a look. You actually don't need to make a YouTube video about it to get our attention. Although if you are a GM with half a million subscribers, that's one way to go about it. No judgment. Oh, oh, I was talking and it was still, ah. <laughs>